To support the students with the best of research materials and help them enjoy reading is one of the defining things they do at Cambridge. While for the great majority of students in high school and colleges, education has become a mere reproduction of isolated facts that they have been taught. When you change your thinking, you change your beliefs. When you change your beliefs, you change your expectations. When you change your expectations, you change your attitude. When you change your attitude, you change your behavior. When you change your behavior, you change your performance. When you change your performance, you change your life. As a part of kindling their thinking on issues that grip the world today, the students are presented with varied audio video clips that include documentaries and news bulletins. One of the exercises that follow is a group discussion or a rational reasoning that encourages students to form their opinion and beliefs. By making them involved in a decision-making exercise, the students assess their knowledge. Hygienic and wholesome diet with daily dosage of fruits is another thing that is on the cards of the Cambridge. Vital food and regular exercise improves health, avoids young age obesity, cause for thought clarity, and keeps them manage the relentless stress that seem to dominate our days. This diet habit adds years to life and life to years. Not costly vegetables, not costly fruits. Any fruits, any vegetables they can bring. But it's compulsory for them to bring fruits, any type of fruits, any type of vegetables. The Cambridge is particular about the purity of body and purity of conduct. Regular yoga classes help the students attain such purity while their bodies radiate with vitality and energy. With perfect diet, able bodies, regulated breath and enhanced energy, the students fix their gaze inwards to place their minds singularly on knowledge. Yoga, meditation, this and all helps actually. Because when we start the school, we start with meditation for 10 minutes. And then every session when it is starting or when it is finished, we give five minutes meditation or a silent hour. We give a single bell. That single bell will bring the entire atmosphere calm and As the natural culmination to the yoga classes, the meditation sessions in Cambridge is a beautiful sight to watch for. The students pursue the inquiry, who am I relentlessly? In a beginning mode to silence and spiritualism, they try to find out where the thoughts begin. The students keep turning their attention within. They learn home, the art of slowing down, slowing down the thoughts and noise of the mind. The thoughts of the body and ego cease to exist. The students learn to merge with the light. Besides the other developmental work, Cambridge educates the children of this village virtually at zero cost. This granny of Vadikanapalli is very happy for the fact that her grandchildren are studying at Cambridge. <laughs> Uh, seven kilometers away, we have adopted a village. Uh, there, for entire village people, uh, children, we are giving free education. And most of the times, every year, some three to four times we go there, we help the village to have a good road. And then some paddy field. Small children, they are going and they play stage dramas 
women empowerment child labor and smoking and its effects and then how to upgrade our scientific knowledge this and all actually the villagers don't have anything uh, though they have tv they always watch a cinema or something more than that they don't know anything but we take it as a cha- challenge and we take the children and teachers we play stage dramas and all in tamil and, and some other things also and then uh, through these things uh, we present them seminars street plays career guidance workshops training camps and medical aid are some of the few things that top the chart service to the villages around and readiness to serve often and more is ingrained in the larger scheme of things if anything is outrageously roaring about the spirit of cambridge that is evident in the dashing youthfulness of its basketball team known for its offensive runs passing the balls and getting open shots this team has made it big in a zonal district meet this team is lauded to be the magic orlando of the district they have other sports as well they believe that the brilliance and intelligence have nothing to do with the marks they have a student exchange program on board uh, when i was in my 11th i was one of the luckiest students to visit uh, canada a school called glenleon norfolk school and the experience was awesome we had the opportunity to uh, show our culture to them and also we learned so many things from them uh, i thank our school very much for giving me this opportunity for the fruit exchange program here we find the happy lot of teaching faculty at cambridge if a mediocre teacher simply tells a good teacher explains a superior teacher demonstrates a great teacher inspires Some of the former students of Cambridge feel elated and go nostalgic to think about their times spent at school. Well, I was not exactly the topper in my class, but uh, you know, in our school a lot of importance is given on personality development, like not just studies, and uh, we used to watch a lot of dramas on our own and we had yoga, meditation, we had sports, everything was mixed. So they were uh, very sure in making us an all-rounder in every department. So I was not exactly concentrating only on studies, but I I managed to be a better student in my class. Yeah, we are not pressurized here, and uh, see here actually is uh, the total output is important as a student. We are, they don't see actually is every time you score first mark that is necessary of course, but what you learn, what you understand is very important. They see actually is the final output is very important. See exam today I I just read tomorrow I may buy hard it. and i may write in the day after tomorrow exam but what is necessary is it should stay in your mind and it should be useful for your future so that's what is taught in this school i was actually a very below average student and uh, at the last moment when i passed out i was a best student and uh, in that way the affection the motivation given by the teachers were uh, very much helpful and they touched me apart from education apart from reading books all that i learned in the school fascinated me uh, the kind of leadership qualities it instilled in me uh, the self confidence it instilled in me and the communication skills and all that uh, that's that's very fascinating aspect in my school they helped me to see my goals like what i exactly wanted to achieve and i was not exactly tuned only for that i was able to concentrate in many other things and also in that so i landed up in a very good college and now i'm working in a reputed company and i guess it's all due to my school was uh, exactly our uh, principal shanti madam and, uh, she was really very inspiring us inspiring to us and uh, this made me to achieve my goal the musical band brings in some of the heaviest music that will perhaps split your head up and also those that melt your heart whichever be the genre of music they play in these children will give their hearts to it
and the bustle, these little folks list out the reasons as to why they love their school. I like this school because teachers don't beat us. They are very kind and affectionate. I like this school because teacher teaches well. I love this school because there are lots of plants and trees. A motivated fine arts team presents some of the meticulously choreographed dance sequences. Be it in the brilliance of the ethnic classics or the kind of the blues or waltzes or tangos and whatnots, they showcase an unfettered dedication charm. I think this is distant Cambridge is uh, how it prepares a person uh, to face life after the school. The self-confidence we gain at Cambridge and the yoga and meditation they teach. Accept myself as I am, wherever I go, and uh, don't repent on that. And always, I think I can. The best thing about my school is it's more like home away from home. For Cambridge, as much as for its founder chairman, success flows as an unintended but inevitable byproduct for a life spent on serving people and adding value to the world. Dr. Sanath clings to one of the timeless secrets of loving one's work, a Gandhian in spirit, maybe that he knows, that the golden thread running through the lives of history's most significant men is the fact that they all had loved the work they did for a living. To quote James McNair, he makes little distinction between his labor and leisure, his mind and body, and information and recreation. He hardly knows which is which. What matters is he simply pursues his vision of excellence. Having known the purpose of his calling, he believes to work for the common good. That is his creed. I am sure all of our school children will be very honest and then very intelligent and tomorrow definitely they will be very good leaders. For that very purpose, the school is started the school is functioning, the school will, this education center will function. To the depth of his being, Dr. Shath is resolved not to limit the spirit of a child. The Cambridge Institution incessantly works to show the leader within every student. That involves an inner strength and inner grace, then the external splendor, with the light of the vision taking them ahead. Cambridge at Krishnagri works to illuminate young minds. They know, to transform the world we live in, one must do one spit. That's that. <laughs>